Every time a pre-flight is pulled on the F-102A, close to a million dollars worth of airplanes and the life of a pilot is at stake. That's where you come in. It'll be up to you to make absolutely sure that the aircraft is ready to fly safely. Inspect the landing gear first. See that the ground safety pins are installed on both sides and that both sets of shocks are in place. Inspect the tire for proper inflation and general condition. Check the shock strut for proper extension, the landing light for cracked or broken lens, and the fairing for damage. In the wheel well, check the high-pressure air gauge for the correct reading. In addition, inspect the general area for hydraulic leaks and line damage. See that there are no leaks around the fuel cap and that it is secure. Following this, check the general condition of the armament doors. An inspection of the cockpit is the next step. As you raise the canopy, make sure the seat pens are installed. Then inspect the lap belt and shoulder harness for general condition. Inside the cockpit, check the shoulder harness inertia reel for operation and security. Make sure all switches are either in off or normal. Drop the ram air turbine at this time. Check the oxygen pressure also. The cockpit area should always be inspected for general cleanliness. And don't forget to check Form 781 for discrepancies and aircraft status. Before leaving the cockpit, examine the plexiglass for cleanliness and nick, and do the same for the windshield. The next check is at the left air intake. Pull the plug and check for any foreign objects or material in the intake. Notice the general condition of the skin surface as you move along. Inspect the radome thoroughly for any damage or crack. Do the same for the boom. In addition, make sure the holes in the tip are not clogged with dirt or any other substance. Inspect the other side of the boom and radome in the same manner. See that the static port is free from dirt. Then open up the forward electronic compartment. In here, you will check the anti-ice fluid tank for specified servicing and the filler cap for security. Be 
sure the access door is secure. The right intake is inspected in the same manner as the left. Examine the front tire for cuts or damage. The shock strut for proper extension. The nose steering unit for condition and lock pin removed. the taxi light for security and condition, and the nose gear door for damage. In addition, you will also check the battery, the ground safety pins, and the circuit breaker panel. When you have finished in the nose wheel well, check the armament door the same as you did on the other side. When you get to the ram air turbine compartment, inspect the blades on the turbine. Then check the hydraulic reservoirs for fluid level. The accumulator gauges for proper pressure. And look for any leaks or line damage. Release the latch and make sure the door shuts securely. In the right wheel well... First check the emergency AC alternator for security, then make sure all circuit breakers are in. The general area is inspected for hydraulic leaks and line damage as before. Check the right gear in the same manner as you did the left. However, an additional check on this gear is to make sure the static wire touches the ground. Following this, make a visual inspection of the leading edge on the underside of the wing. Look for dents and fuel leakage. Don't forget to inspect the position light. Make sure the lens is not cracked or broken. Next, check the wing tip. Note the condition of the trailing edge and elevon. At the tail, inspect the skin, the navigation lights, the vertical stabilizer and rudder, and the speed brake area. Be sure to look inside the tailpipe for evidence of fuel and general interior condition. While here, check the afterburner nozzles for security, then make a visual inspection of the drag chute area. The left wing is inspected in the same manner as the right. When you finish inspecting the left wing, the next step is to perform the upper surface checks. On top of the wing, look for general surface conditions, then check the dorsal fin for dent. At the same time, check the various fuselage panels for security. Above all, be sure to remove the Q intake covers and inspect the tubes. They should be completely free from any foreign matter. Make a visual inspection of the right wing also. This completes the power off part of the pre-flight. The 
majority of the power on checks are performed in the cockpit. Here you will check for proper functioning of the various switches, lights, and gauges. When you have completed the cockpit checks, do not fail to inspect the engine compartments for fuel leakage. This is necessary as you will have operated the booster pumps for the power on checks. When you are satisfied that there are no leaks, close up the panels and sign off the form. This completes the F-102A pre-flight inspection.